Governor Rick Perry cut to short some campaign events in uh, South Carolina. Fly back to Texas this afternoon to speak to uh, folks in Bastrop County in particular about the situation with the uh, fires going on across the state. KXN's Chris Sadegi attended a news conference the governor held uh, about an hour ago, and he has uh, more from Bastrop. Yeah, Perry talked about the numbers of this fire. 25,000 acres, part of 32,000 acres in the state right now that are burning, but 476 homes here. He said it's devastation like he's never seen before. And this is video exactly of what it looks like down on the ground. This is from the Circle D neighborhood where a lot of people think this fire started in one of the neighborhoods where they think just about everything has been destroyed. You can see that just the entire area burning away. Impossible for firefighters to really get in there and get a handle on this so they have to fight it from the air. This fire that is 16 miles long, six miles wide and just burning everything in its path with the red flag fire conditions today. They're trying to fight it from the air, but as I just mentioned, the wind, the dryness, making it near impossible. And their primary goal right now, just evacuating those in the path. But as they're trying to keep people out of the area, a lot of people want to go back and see their home. But the governor himself said, this is fire unlike he's ever, ever seen, and people really do need to stay safe and stay out of the way. It was a surreal experience today. Um, not only flying by that uh, uh, substantial, I mean, I, I have seen a number of, of big fires in my life. Uh, this one is as, um, this one's as mean looking as I've ever seen, partly because it's so close to this city. And the governor is also now taking a tour of the shelters in town. Towards the end of this press conference, some reporter in the crowd asked the very irresponsible question if this takes away from his quest for the presidency. Coming back, he said right now that he is not worried about politics. He's only worried about the people of Texas, which brought a huge round of applause from the crowd here looking on. We're live in Bastrop, Chris Sadegi, KXAN News. Okay, Chris, thank you. With Smithville emergency crews trying to coordinate uh, the evacuations out there from Bastrop County people, the potential for the fire to come raging down their way happened. So there are some evacuation shelters in Smithville as well as in Bastrop. And we, of course, have all of that information on those shelters for you on our website, kxan.com.